it's a simple art. Um, it's up there with blacksmithing and um, you know the apothecary. It's just a graph paper. It's just a pencil and a rubber. I do use uh, crossword uh, software for um, the uh, interlocking. Uh, that's something that's changed in the last 10 years, where I will put in letter pattern just to see, you know, Aeschylus and the other word. Uh, but for me, it's about trying to control the grid. It's quite meditative. You really are just funneled with this piece of paper. Um, I, I could honestly make a crossword in, you know, in a, in a war zone. I just, it does shut out all periphery. And uh, so I, I'll start by putting in those favourite words. Let's imagine it's an unthemed crossword. So it's all those words I've collected, and I continually collect words. You know, even just coming in on the tram, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm harvesting, looking, um, I see Yarra trams and think smart array. It's just always looking for words. So I put them down, and then I'll turn to that, those, that book that I keep. I've got several books, dog-eared, um, and I'll say, okay, that goes in there, the eight goes in there, then periwinkle. So that's the Ben Cousins there. So I control the grid, but then because whatever I do in one corner, I need to do in the other, the symmetry starts becoming tyrannical. And it's then that I surrender to the crossword uh, and let the crossword tell me what words it can accommodate. You uh, sound so much like a drug addict. I control the grid. <laughs> I, uh, I control it. I say when and how. You, you don't control anything. The magic number is 13. <laughs> If you have more, if you have 13 or more themed entries in a 15 by 15, then you know that person has had a, um, you know, uh, an absolute sartori, a, a real sort of breakthrough. Because usually after about 13 words, the crossword, particularly if there's a theme, the crossword starts to dictate what it can and can't take. I love where all this is going. You know, this uh, this meme, this uh, instant communication, because actually it's making words um, more flexible. It's asking more of language, and uh, sending a text message. I've um, uh, I still send a lot of thumbos, as they call um, typos in texting. Um, I'll send a, just send a, a text to my brother before, and uh, he queried back, "What did you mean by?" Uh, unfortunately, I hit the uh, predictive word, uh, which I think was trombone. I don't know what the <laughs> what I was meaning to say, but uh, people decry, you know, the sort of downing dumbing of language through, you know, tweeting, through texting. I'm, I'm the opposite. I actually think it's uh, absolutely glorious that, uh, I mean, language will, language will survive. It's been through worse than that. And uh, what it's identifying is just how creative and, um, you know, how agile you can be with words. Um, so I think it's actually tapping into this whole new market of, uh, of, of letter, letter junkies.